Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. As mentioned in my previous video, I'm gonna give you guys a special deck, which is the Spicy Gemini Countering deck. I have been playing with this deck for a while and it's pretty spicy as there is a lot of countering measure in this deck. So I hope you guys enjoy, remember to subscribe, give a like and view my other videos and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. So you can know what deck you can use, what deck you can play, the mistakes that I did, all the good things that I did. Share the love and enjoy. So the first monster I'm gonna show you is this level 8. It's just as SR. So this polychemy creature basically its turn its effect is that I can banish one Gemini monster from my graveyard, then target any one card my opponent control and destroy it. <clears throat> so this effect is really OP because you can basically destroy anything in the field. So this is one of the key members of this deck. So the next one is Dark Storm Dragon and its effect is that I can send one face up spell or trap card I control to the graveyard, destroy all spell and trap card on the field. So this is a very, very spicy destroying monster. So I tagged him it with Mirror Wall because it's a face up trap card and some supervise as a face up spell card. So next uh, Ancient Gear Knight is just a normal level 4 monster. So if I summon it to special summon it to my field, I can use its effect to you know neglect all spell and trap card if I attack. And I have three Raised Wing Butterfly, which is another core of this deck. So basically what this effect does is that I can tribute this card then target one Gemini monster in my graveyard so I can target my Kemi Creature or my Dark Storm for the OTK purposes and just one Fertilizer just to mill up one of my Gemini monster from my deck to graveyard and draw one card because basically I need to throw a lot of uh, mo lower monster to the graveyard to activate this guy effect and just to Kami Krita Carbo Crap. So what this guy does is that if it's a effect monster, I can send one Gemini monster from my deck to a graveyard and add one Gemini monster from my deck to my hand. So basically I can use this to throw away this to summon to take this to my hand, summon this and special summon this. So there's a lot of combo wombo going on. And this this guy is a cap creamy crater hydro hawk. So what this guy does is that I can discard one card, any card, and target one Gemini monster in my graveyard, but I only can special summon it in defense position. So you know this is just an attack card I would say. Three supervise is a must because this guy instantly turn your Gemini monster to effect card. And I'm running polymerization because I have some fusion going on go and this is a mask as well to special summon all your monster easily. I have two Gemini trap hole and I would just suggest two would do because this is only can activate when a Gemini monster that is treated as an effect monster. So you must have the effect and if it's destroyed then I can destroy all monster my opponent control. So two I think is gonna be basically enough and two mirror wall and this is one of the core as well super alone beast so basically I can fusion summon any any mon uh, Gemini monster to get this guy out and once this guy is out all Gemini monster the field are treated as effect monster and gain their effect so hope you guys enjoy this video and remember to subscribe give a like and just watch my other rest of the video and feel free to leave your comment for improvement or for what other decks you like so i'm pretty having fun with this deck it's not very competitive nature but it's just fun destroying people if you're following me long enough i'm a guy that like to destroy because i'm a destroyer i'm a monster so first game is against ag deck i'll go second I'm fine with it, no biggie. For this deck to work, basically you just have to be patient even if life point destroyed. 
so he summoned a monster and at this hand I don't feel comfortable I usually like to summon when I have three monster then I will fusion summon so I decided to wait and set a mirror wall first for this guy combo if I need to so he turned normal he turned to effect attack me 2100 so I got my combo so basically what you need hopefully you can do is polymize the high bitter monster in the graveyard to fusion summon and have one brace wing butterfly because it's become Gemini I can tri tribute this card to special summon one I put super wise is because this is a face up cut so there's a combo going on so I use a brace wing to special summon my dark storm dragon and with the super wise effect I got my poly Kami Critter. But he tribute summon and take, but it's okay. I use my poly critter, banish one card, destroy the AG because I'm worried about you know the monster that is five three thousand attack. So he surrendered the next turn. I can OTK him, but I just like to troll people sometimes. So the next game is against Bandit Cave. I kind of forget what deck he used. Maybe it's a. Uh, I know I beat Cyber Angel in this replay, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. So I used the skill. I did not use the restart. I use this ca combo crap to have the effect, so I can mill up more cards. That's the purpose of this. I just set one card. And I just get Gemini Butterfree out and I throw my big level 8 monster to the graveyard. So this is how you're gonna mill up your deck and give more surprise. Surprise to the graveyard. So yes, this is uh, against a Cyber Angel mashup. So you just normally do his thing. Because of Supervise, if this monster get thrown to the graveyard, I can su special summon my Boss, this is my boss, the Kami Crit Critter. So CA doing his CA thing, and now you know that everybody just hate playing CA. It's not because they are OP; they are just a waste of space, waste of time. He thought he can OTK me here, and it's kind of silly of him because I have supervised effect. So basically, I don't give a damn about him. So supervise, bring up my boss. And I say hi to him. He don't dare to attack me, of course. And next, I do not get any any fusion card. I use my this Kami Krita effect to banish one card, destroy the face down. I regret destroying that honestly. I just hit him, so you know he can just waste away his uh, Reacher spell. So he's, he sat face down basically is just waiting for things to happen. I'm just waiting for my polarization. So he's just trying to stall for more time. I can't outbeat him as all that and now he did his combo. Send up his Dekene with a bit of juice in him. A 3700 bitter. I destroy away my breeze wing because I can take a 1100 and when this card destroy, guess what? The Gemini trap hole is out in the cold. I poly my polarization came at the right time for me to do a fusion summon to super alubis and I brace wing butter free get back my boss out can be critter and OTK. I hope you guys enjoy this video and this deck. I put in a few thoughts and some tweet just to make sure that you know it's workable and you guys have fun of it. Feel free to share with me what kind of other decks you like to see. I will try my best to show the best I can. So nowadays T Gardener T Gardener is just a few cards, few decks. There's Galliator or just Cybersteer. 
So I get a pretty lousy draw. I decided to restart. And this is a better one. So I just do my combo again. You supervise. Mia more card. Because milling is winning. Destroying is winning. So I'm lacking of a uh, po polarization. So once I have it, I will be lethal. So I still didn't get it. So he straight flush me. What a theater. But because of straight flush, guess what? Supervised effect comes to play. Use my poly. I attack with a cyber steer. So I give him a hits up. Say hi to your face. He uses tribute to his trash, destroy me. And the tilter comes. He's trying to burn me to death. And my life is still reasonably well, just lower than him. But supervised came to my rescue. So I tribute my brace wing. And guess who I call upon? It's my boss, Kami Crater. So I use his effect, destroy the monster, and the OTK happens so easily. A 2800 beater, although his defense kind of sucks, but it has a very, very powerful effect. You can destroy any number of cards as long as you have. A lot of Gemini monster in your graveyard. So this is against a Dino deck. Please check out my previous Dino video that I upload like three, four hours ago. And it's a high beater, but my 2800 just seem too more spicy than him. So I got Polly. I just skip because I need more support. I waited out, sometimes you have to play the waiting game and he attacked me and now it's my chance. Now it's my turn, I got my combo, Super Allo Beast comes to the help and jump Brace Wing Butterfly effect and Kami Critter destroy the back row and it's pretty simple from here on and who is the beater now, Dino or me? I don't know what he's trying to do, he's just trying to bluff me but I don't bother. I can destroy anyone. He tribute, take my card, I don't care. And he just sat and sat, and it's very sad for him to be honest. I just supervise for the sake of doing it face down because I thought it's gonna be a wall of disruption, and he ran out of luck, and it's an easy OTK. So we are entering the last replay against Paradox Brother, which is a ninja deck. So basically, this deck has the potential to beat the top tier deck, the tier 1 and tier 2 deck as I show in the replay. So, you know, that's the potential there. It's still not fully developed yet because we're still lacking of some, you know, important cards. But I believe it's fun. I really enjoy playing this deck. So I hope that I share enough love with you guys and you guys can enjoy it as well. So 3 star demotion, get the bread ninja out. This is the first version of my deck with elemental hero but I decided to skip it because it, it's not that really useful. So my supervisor get me this E hero back and I use Gemini trap hole and it's like what? No hero. GG. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more to come. And have a good day, good afternoon, good night, and signing off. Peace.